So I have buyers ask me all the time, can I buy a house and not put 20% down? We're going to dive into that answer today. So the question is, can I buy a home and not put 20% down on my mortgage? This is a common misconception that I hear all the time among buyers these days. And the honest to goodness truth is yes, absolutely you can purchase a home without 20% down on your mortgage. In fact, as long as you meet certain minimums, you can pretty much choose what you would like your down payment to be. So before we actually dive into the answers, I really do need to put this disclaimer on it. There are so many details involved in getting a home loan. If you really are seriously considering purchasing a home, you should probably sit down with a local lender that you trust and go over your financial situation. That way you're sure that the answers that you get, you're getting are custom tailored to your financial picture. But with all of that said, let's talk a little bit about down payments. So whenever you go to get pre-approved for your loan, you will likely get pre-approved for a conventional loan or an FHA loan. Now those loan types come with certain minimums that you have to put down. An FHA loan is three and a half percent. A conventional loan is 3%. Those are the minimum down payments. That means that you have to have at least three or three and a half if you're doing an FHA loan percent of the purchase price down payment in your own funds. That means you have to be able to document it in one of your savings or checkings, uh, checking accounts. So with all of that said, after that, if you want to put more down on top of that three or three and a half percent, you certainly can. And there are certain benefits to hitting certain thresholds after that three or three and a half percent. So let's talk about a couple of those benefits. The largest benefit is seller assistance. Um, we did an entire video on seller assistance not too long ago so check it out in our YouTube library if you want some additional info but the basics of seller assist are the seller can help pay for some of your closing costs there are limits on how much seller assistance the seller can give you depending on the loan type you're choosing and the amount of down payment that you are putting towards your loan. So the higher the down payment, the more seller assist that you can ask for, and it caps out at 6%. So if you're putting three or three and a half percent down, you can typically expect 3% in seller assistance. If you go up to a conventional loan of 10% down, then you can actually get 6% in seller assistance. So that is a benefit of going a little bit higher in your down payment, is you can get a little bit more money back from the seller to help with your closing costs. Um, the second benefit that I'd like to talk about is privatized mortgage insurance. So PMI, as they call it, privatized mortgage insurance, is a mini insurance policy that you have to pay a monthly premium on if you do not have 20% down. So there is a benefit to putting 20% down. You would have no PMI whatsoever, but the way PMI works is the more money that you put down, the less PMI that you pay. So even if you're able to increase your down payment a little bit, maybe to five or 10%, you should see a little bit of a reduction in that PMI amount. So there is a benefit of hitting those certain thresholds. Again, 20% down, if you actually can pull that off, you won't have any PMI at all, but a lot of people can't pull that off. So at least if you're able to improve it a little bit, you could reduce the amount of PMI that you pay. The last benefit to putting more money towards your down payment is the ability to eliminate the escrow account. So if you're not familiar, an escrow account is a cushion account that the bank sets up at closing so that they can be sure your taxes and your homeowner's insurance are paid on time every year. So if you don't have 20% down on your loan, you're going to be required to set this up so that they can make sure the taxes and the homeowner's insurance are paid. If you have 20% down, you have the option of eliminating it. Now, the reason why some people want to eliminate this account is because when you set the account up, it's a cushion account, you have to actually fill the cushion account with a year's worth of taxes and insurance. So if you live in a really pricey area that has high taxes, or if you have a really high premium, yearly premium on your insurance, that can really amount to thousands of dollars upfront at closing. And some buyers would rather not have to front that cash, and they would just rather pay the taxes and homeowner's insurance when it comes due. You're still going to have to pay the same amount over time, but you will just have more time to pay 
it if you decide to not do the escrow account. Um, but again, that's only available to you in most cases if you have 20% down. So as you can see, there are a lot of details involved in choosing the proper mortgage plan and choosing the proper down payment amount that is right for you and your financial situation. So like I said before, if you're seriously considering a home purchase, I would highly recommend sitting down with a mortgage lender that's local to you, you trust them, and you can actually take a look at your financial situation and figure out what option is best for you. But the answer to the original question, yes, absolutely, you can purchase a home without putting 20% down. And in fact, there are many, many options to buyers these days. So if you know a friend who is thinking of buying a home, share this video with them. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel as well, and we'll see you next time, guys.